lot of people have given up. A lot of people have been, des uh, you know, desperate. A lot of people have been uh, down. You, you are looking at, at the economy of Kenya. You know, the other day, I was, uh, I, I was at uh, the Shell petrol station. And uh, one woman was fueling her car. And I heard her say, uh, in this economy, it's better mutu atumie matatu. Fadhali uze gari. Maana ile mafuta gari inakunywa in a month. Ni, ni mingi kushinda rent. Of which it is true. Eh? Because the level of life has gone high. But I've come to, t to talk to us. I've come to encourage someone. Tell your neighbor. Even in the midst of the economy. In the midst of the noise. Keep focus. In Jesus mighty name. Bwana Yesu wasifiwe. You fix your eyes. You are not going to go down. Even if things are not okay. Can you shout an amen? You are not in the register of the people that are going to die. You are not in the register of the people that are going to close a business. I don't like your amen. You are not in the register of the people that are going to close a business. You are not in a register of the people that are going to go down. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are not in the register of the people that are going to sink into depression. Amen. You are not in the register of the people that are going to seek into depression. Of late I've been receiving people doing them counseling and therapy. People are depressed. I came to tell you, you are not going to be depressed. You will not sink into depression. In the mighty name of Jesus, can you declare I will not be depressed. I refuse to be depressed. In the name of Jesus, even if the life will go high, the Lord will raise my standard. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For we live by faith and not by sight. Can you tell your neighbor, we live by faith and not by sight. Uh, turn to another one, tell them, we live by faith and not by sight. Uh, uh, we live by faith and not by sight. I quote 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 7. The Bible says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yeah, we live by faith, not by sight. Faith is the truth in the word of God. But, you know, sight is what is happening. It is true that the life is very high. It is true that everything is not, everything is not okay. You go to the supermarket with 2,000. Unatoka na kabag karatosha na hivi. Hata unaeza beba na kidole. Is it true? Karatasi unaeza beba hivi. Life is very high. But we refuse to live by sight. The sight is the fact of life. The fact is that life is very high. But by faith, we know that there is God of all seasons. There is God who controls seasons. There is God of all seasons. The tough season, he's still God. Even the good seasons, he's still God. Can you tell your neighbor, you do not live by, by sight, but you live by faith. I came to remind us today, we are not going to sink. We are not going to be silenced by the economy of this nation, by the enemy, by the intimidations, by the manipulation of the enemy. We refuse to go down. I came to raise a heart of somebody that says I am disappointed, that say I am low, that say I am down. I came to tell you rejoice because the Lord is your strength. You shall not fear anything. You shall not be afraid of anything. I came to tell you you shall rise. You will not go down in the name of Jesus. We are in a prophetic service. So anything that I speak is prophetic. You better take it and run with it. I don't care who close a business next to you. You are not the next. Huh? You are not the next. I don't care who lost a job. I came to tell you you are not the next. I came to say you are not the next. And if you have lost a business, if you lost a job, this is your service. For you are going to bounce back again. I say you will bounce back again. I say you will bounce back again. Can you shout I am rising. I refuse to go down. I refuse to go down. The life say I will go down. But by faith I arise. Money say I will go down. But by faith I will arise. I will not shift from my house to go to a smaller house because of the standard of life. I serve a living God. I serve the owner of gold and silver. Yes, I live by faith. Can you declare I shall live by faith and not by sight? In Jesus' mighty name. When I was a female, the fact is that right now you are jobless. That is the fact. The fact is like Right now, dear lady, hakuna kitu kwa account. That is the fact. Na ni ukweli, ni ukweli wa mambo. Hakuna, hata sayu kienda hivu weke ATM. Balance ni 527. Balance ni 800. Wengine balance. Hata 
wa, a, wana ni negative zero zero. Wengine hata pin number walisahau ya, 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 ya ATM kwa sababu hakuna kitu ya kutoa. Unajua kuna venye maisha inaweza ikakukalia paka hauna pesa ya kutoa kwa account. Therefore hata ukumbukagi pin number ya ATM yako but I came to raise your faith. I came to raise your faith. I came to say no matter what is happening around you no matter the noise around you be like blind Bartimaeus he said I will not be shut I will not keep quiet I will shout them all the life is harder you become harder the life is high the Lord will raise your standard in the mighty name of Jesus I came to tell you you are not in the midst of the failures you cannot fail you cannot go down in the name of Jesus somebody say amen this quarter that is remaining we are remaining with a quarter for the year to end Lucy this quarter that seems like there is darkness that looks like nothing is working I came to tell you you will celebrate in this quarter more than the three quarters has, has been there I say you will celebrate yes I can see darkness all over you surrounding your marriage surrounding your finances surrounding your job but I came to tell you as long as you came in this service you are a enjoy. You have entered in the list of the people that will say, surely the last quarter of 2022, I have seen God. I have testified. I have a reason to smile. I came to decree and declare. It doesn't matter the position you are, the condition you are. I came to tell you that condition is not your conclusion. It is not your destiny. It's just a season and that season is passing by. Am I talking to a believer? That season is passing by. That season is going away. For God is with you and God is God of all seasons. In Jesus mighty name. This morning I wrote something on social media and I said sometimes sometimes things will happen. Sometimes and I usually tell people when you see things happening so tough things are not making sense. Have you ever looked at your life the dots are not matching. You don't know you don't know where you are. Have you ever woken up and then you are like, which day are we? Usha ifika hapo. Wewe kama hujafika hapo umebarikiwa. Lucy unaamuka, unaona kama leo tuko Friday. Na ni Monday. Maisha imekukalia umegoma unagedha. Unaona kama leo ni mwisho wa wiki na ndio mwanzo wa wiki. Yaani unakaa, unaona kama Mungu alishakusahau. You are like God, are you still there? You pray and you feel as if your prayers are not going anywhere. Hmm. The more you pray, the more disasters. Have you ever prayed for something, eh? Another woman came to see me and she told me, Prophetess, the more I'm praying for my husband, the more he's coming drunk times five. Nina fungisha pombe, nina fungisha wanawake, anakuja sasa, ata hajielewi, ameleto wana marafiki. Chana angalawa alijileta. Leo nika ingia fasting. Ndiyo amekunywa hajielewi. Naomba, naomba. Wakati tu nimiomba niko fasting three days. Ndiyo ma message za madem zina pop kwa simu yake. Na zingine zina pop kwangu na tukanwa. Akaniambia nimechoka. Nikamwambia woman you know what? The darkness come and it is so high and it is too much when the morning is about to come. I told her your morning is about to come. Your morning is about to break. When the morning is around, the darkness is so high. Every time there is a breakthrough, there must be a resistance. There must be a a, a way, yani a blocked way. You may think that God has forsaken you. At that particular moment, when things are not making sense in your head, that is the time God is working behind the scenes. Because God is not God of the people that know how to do things by themselves. God is a God of people who have gone to their end. For the Bible say, the end of somebody it is the beginning of God. When you get to your end, that is the time you know that God is working. That is the time you know that God is at your work. That is the time you know that God is making a way where seems to be no way. And I said this in the morning. Sometimes things will be uncomfortable. Very tough. And this is the word of God. He gave me when I was, when I was in prayers. And he told me, sometimes I will do things. And people will think I don't like them. People will think I am very far away. People may think I, I am not hearing or listening to their prayers. But there is something that I need from them. I want them to shift from the level that they are to the next level. Because sometimes God look at you. You are so comfortable at the level that you are. And he knows unless he brings something that will trigger you. Something that will mess you up. You can never go to the next level. So I say this morning. Sometimes God is behind the things that are happening.
happening to you. Not all that things happens to you come from the devil. Ah, pacha neighbor tell them, sio kila kitu inatokaka kwa shetani. Eh, hata divorce zingine sio za shetani. Eh, hata kuachanishwa kwingine sio kwa shetani, kwingine ni kwa Mungu. Hata kukosa watoto sometimes the Bible say and God shut the womb of Hannah. Hey, God shut the womb of Rachel. God himself shut. So not all the barrenness that are coming from the devil or witchcraft. Eh, uko broke sana. Sio broke zote na madeni zote zinatokaga kwa shetani. Zingine ni Mungu ameleta ili wakati atakufanya millionaire hautaringia watu. Ah ah. Ili wakati utaendesha gari, hutarushia watu maji hivi ukitembea. Ili wakati atakupatia nyumba, hutasema kwangu msikuje mnanukisha viatu. Anakufinya mahali unafika, akuaminia baraka amekuwekea. We are people here, you are in a position, you don't feel God. You don't pray. As you go to pray, you cry. As you go to pray, you feel as if your prayers are not going anywhere. I came to tell you, some of the things God will allow to mature you up. Some of the things God will allow to mold you to the person that he wants you to become. Some of them he will do it for him to shift you to the next level. Because just like that, you cannot shift. You cannot shift. Tell your neighbor, there are things that God do for you to shift. Anakuangalia, anaangalia, anaangalia, naona huyu. Ile destiny yako nao ni kubwa, lakini amezuba. Anakuletea kikitu. Unashidwa je, ni miokoka sijaokoka. Wale, by the way, mabeshto wako wabawa hawajui mungu. Ama wale hawambagi kama wewe. Wana drive. Eh? Wako sawa. Eh? Wau nalia food ya kukula. Wau wako mombasa vacation. Wako unashidwa kwa ni this life has no balance. And if me, me, I'm looking for rent. My friend, my own friend, eh, they are swimming. Life has no balance. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, in that situation, God is doing something. There must be something that God wants to birth. I said there must be something that God wants to birth. God said, I cannot bring you to labor to, 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 to shame you. If I bring you to labor, you must give birth. I cannot make you carry pregnancy and then I kill your baby. I cannot bring you to the labor season and then I kill your baby or then I shut your womb. That is God. He cannot make you go through fire hey, and you come out empty handed. If you don't believe, I shut like Meshach and Abednego. After they went through the fire, they were promoted. So the fire you are in today, I don't know which fire you are in, but I feel everybody here is on, on fire of themselves. Eh? Wengine ni doa. Wengine ni pesa. Inakuona, inageuka. Inakuona ndiwe uyo unakuja, inafiga haba utan. Yani miya moja kushika sa hini miracle. Mm-hmm. Kiko na watu kama wako nyumba? Si wako. Kuna kila mdo kuna moto wake. Unangalia hivi watoto, hauna kitu ya kuwape. Unauliza mungu kwa nini sasa ulinifanya uli nikue baba ama nikue mama. Sasa awa toto nitapea nini. Unakakulete pesa yako. Hakuna kitu inaweza fanya. Hayezi ni parent. Sio school fees. Sio nini. Iko tula. Hakuna kitu inaweza fanya. Na ukeji na mwambia ukiwa na pesa kama hiyo panda begu. Hiyo ni seed haitoshi. Hey, sometimes there are things that you need to do to become crazy. I came to tell us at that particular moment God is working. I said God is working. You know, if you preach to me this gospel few years ago, I would I would have said, Pastor, are you no more? Some of you you are saying that. Are you no more? Mungu akutpitisha hiyo matesote. Ai bro, mwo si Mungu. Hiyo naona ni wachawi wa kwetu. Naona ni powers of my father's house. Naona ni powers of my mother's house. I know where you are. I, I was also in that level whereby I was asking God, why is this happening to me? Until one day, things started unfolding. Things started, started, started aligning. And then I'm like, okay, that is why you did this to me. Alright, that is why you took this person away from me. Okay, that is why I was auctioned. That is why my house was taken. That is why my car was taken. And I could, you know, I could now see the reason why I used to go what I used to go through. Today I came to tell you what you are going through today. It is a testimony in few months to come. It will be a testimony. Hey, it will be a TBT. I say it will be a TBT. You shall put it as a TBT 7. If you know what I was going through, uh, chewing this photo. Ah, mungkani pigia 
Mama Kofi. I say it will be a testimony in Jesus' name. I say it will be a testimony in Jesus' name. I came to tell us to be committed to our faith. I came to tell us we cannot afford to go down. We cannot afford to sink into depression. We cannot afford to be desperate. We cannot afford to go down. We cannot. Tell your neighbor me I cannot. I refuse in Jesus' name. Tell your neighbor be intentional in life. Mwangalie mwingine mwambie be intentional. When you wake up, I know you don't have money. When you wake up, just be intentional to live that day good, good, good. Well, 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 well. Wake up to, you know, intentionally happy. You know, some people ask me, Prof, have you ever had low moments? Do you ever have low seasons? Eh? You know the energy that you have. You are always smiling and happy. Tell your neighbor, sometimes she's in a fix eh? and smiling. Eh, wounded and smiling. Eh? Crying inside but smiling. Those moments are there. But one thing I decided, one thing I told my heart, one thing I trained me as Monica, never ever to have those low moments. When they come, I use them as a stepping stone. I use them as a daraja. I wake up every day intentional to be happy. You wake up and talk to you, Monica, today you will smile, today you will laugh, today you will be happy. Even if challenges are going to come, because Jesus said the challenges will be there, but the grace will be sufficient. I tell Monica, you wake up today intentionally to be happy. What what kudukana? What what kwambia mambo? But you put a wall, protect you, protect your peace. Be happy no matter what comes your way. No matter what comes your way, just be happy. You got to be intentional in life. Tell your neighbor, be intentional to be happy. Be intentional to wake up. Be intentional to have faith. Be intentional to smile. Be intentional to live a day. A day you wake up and you tell yourself, you are living today very happy and you will succeed. Any plan that I have, it will be manifested. It will come to pass. And sometimes you are disappointed because in the evening, you are just there where you are when you woke up. Have you ever woke up and then in the evening going to bed, you are still there? You have not moved an inch, eh? You are still there. And then you are like, hey, I declared in the morning. Hey, brother, na tuambia katukue intention, na tukue na faith, na tukue tujitie moyo, tujikaze, lakini hii imekata. Angalia jenu muambie, ata ukijipata uko pale pale, ulikuwa asubui, na saidi usiku ukilala. Sleep intentional. Tell your heart, I know it will never happen, but tomorrow by this time, tomorrow when I'm waking up, it shall be well with me. You give yourself morale. You give yourself, you preach to you. Preach to yourself. Have you ever preached to yourself? You know, it will reach a time now, you preach to yourself, Lucy. You, you preach to your job. You preach to your business. You speak to it. You tell it, you, you have to work no matter what in Jesus' name. I came to tell us, we be intentional in life. We be committed to our faith. We cannot allow the devil to slap us this way, the way he wants. You refuse to go down. I know the fact is that it is not okay, but by faith it is okay. For we do not walk by sight, but we walk by faith. Mm. The fact is that you are sick. But by faith, there is Jehovah Rapha, the healer of all sicknesses. There is Rapha, and you carry him. He is your father. The fact is that yeah, financially you are very down. But the faith is that remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to make wealth. Eh? The faith is that he owns gold and silver. The faith is that on the mountains, thousands of ghetto belongs to him. Na keti hapo nasoma Bible. Na mwambia mungu surizema hizi ngombe zote, ndume, zote, nisako. Kwa mirima. Na chusosa hizi ngombe huchinji ukule. Eh? Nipe moja ni use. Niki use ndume moja, niko na hundred thousand. You know, vitu zingine zinakaa uchinga. But let me tell you, sometimes you need to be a small baby before the eyes of the Lord. Yes. I tell God, easy, easy, Ngombe tunaambiago migi ghettos on the mountains thousands eh Ukinipea mbili unajua kuna inheritance yangu hapo nipe tu mbili Pili tu imenisongesha miezi mbili Shida yako ni kwamba hauombaki kama mtoto unaombaka na uzima mwingi sana Mm shida yetu ni hiyo tunaombaka na uzima mwingi sana 
Wakati mwingine unaamka unamwambia Mungu God I don't have energy. I don't know what to do. Mimi God I don't even I I cannot even pray. God me I cannot even pray. I am here before you. Do whatever you want with me. Here it is my heart is broken. It is so broken. Do what you want with it God. And because God is maker of people, he will make it. Chida yako unakuwaga hapo na ustarabu na uzima mwingi sana, eh? Like a man of 50 years old. Sometimes God wants you to be a baby boy. He wants you to be a baby girl. Wherever you go and you sleep on his feet and you just cry. And you tell him, God, I am here. I don't know what to do next. I don't have an answer. By the way, I don't have a way. I don't know. I cannot see a way. It is you. You show me what to do. I surrender to you today. I don't have money. I surrender to you today. My family has to eat and I know they will eat. I surrender to you today. I am going to the shop. Remember I have not sold two, three days. Today my father, I don't know even what to say. I don't know even how to sell. My father, be at the counter. Be at the door. When they see you, they will come to the shop now. Be there for me. You talk like a baby to God. He is your father. Whatever you tell him, he hears. She dared to tunakuanga so diplomatic. In the name of Jesus. Father, I come before you today. Unaomba maombi mengine hapo hivyo mzito wakati mwingine ni vizuri kukuwa katoto mbele za Mungu. Kukuwa katoto tu. Wakati mwingine ni kuwa unakuwa ka don't care. You know right now Jabali akule asikule hiyo ni shauri yangu. Ni ukweli ama si ukweli? They don't know. Wao wanajua tu watakula sapa wanajua kiamuka asubuhi apate kitu anajua sasa hiyo ingine akitaka machungwa aende hapo achukue anajua hivyo sometimes it's good to care less and just surrender to god and say i will not care about anything i will not worry about anything i will not be any yani sitasumbuka na chochote niko na baba niko na mungu aliniambia nikimuita ataniitika aliniita mwana wake na yeye ni baba yangu leo nimeamuka mimi ni mtoto wa mungu Vile watoto wangu wanajua watakula hata mimi Mungu ni mtoto wako nitakula nini mtoto wako nitapata you just surrender like a small child Tell your neighbor neighbor did you hear that Muangalie mwambie vitu zingine wakati mwingine unakuwa katoto Eh hey, wakati ujui cha kufanya wakati ujui utaenda wapi wakati ujui utapigia nani simu wakati ujui utaandikia nani text wakati ujui nani utaamini wakati ujui nani anakupenda nani akupendi wakati ujui nani anakuchekelea just be that little girl just be that little boy and tell god i surrender to you like my own child they know in any case everything they need it is granted they don't care how they don't know even how i will dwell to give them they don't know how i will struggle to give them i come as a child out to you i come naked to you do whatever you have to do today i surrender to you i will not care about this marriage again i will not care about this job again i will not care about this business again i will not care about this again what i care about is to be your child i am your child whatever you want to do with me i surrender i refuse to think i refuse to do anything i refuse to care about anything i come as a child Tell your neighbor sometimes it's good to go as a child. You just be there as a child. Tell your neighbor you cannot afford to give up. You cannot afford to give up. In Jesus name. Can you shout I refuse to give up in Jesus name. So say me I refuse to give up in Jesus name. I refuse to give up in Jesus name. No matter what is troubling you tonight. I came to encourage us to be committed to be intentional to be focused refuse to look at the side refuse to look at the side remember peter he said jesus if it is you tell me to come and jesus said it is me just come and when he started going he was doing very well he was walking on the water tell your neighbor peter was walking on the water until he looked at the wind he was walking paka alipoangalia upepo akaangalia mawimbi he akaona vile inaenda hivi na hivi hapo akaanza ku sink some of us it is high time in this season that we refuse to look at the wind 
that we refuse to look at the people around us. That we refuse to look at what is happening. We focus our eyes on Jesus. We say, Jesus, I am coming. I will not look around. I don't want to know what people are saying. Yes, people are saying that there is no jobs. There is no money. Economy is bad. I refuse to hear that. That is the wind. I refuse to see that. I refuse to hear that. I focus on you. My eyes are on you. I know you cannot fail me. I focus on you, Jesus. I will come till where you are. I refuse to focus on what is happening. If we focus on what is happening, we will not make it in life. Sometimes it's good even to shut your news. Yeah. Sometimes me, I shut news. Eh? There are news that comes and I shut and I, and I go and I watch a movie. Nasio ushamba. Nasio vibaya. Kuna news zingine zina kudrain. Sometimes it's good to shut from some things. It's good to protect you from some things. Eh? Not kila kitu inaendelea. Wewe ndiyo huo najua. Some, sometimes it, it's good even on social media not to read everything. Not to see everything. You see something that is pulling you down. Something that is, you know, heartbreaking you. You leave it. Not a must you read it. Not a must you comment. Not a must you go through it. Sometimes it's good to shut from the things that are happening around us. From the things that people are saying. Right now, if you listen to everybody, maisha ni ngumu. Hmm, tuonge ukweli. Even the rich. Wanasema maisha? If you listen to everybody, maisha ni ngumu. Business people, maisha ni ngumu. I mean business. And I can, and I can tell you, maisha ni ngumu. Watu ambao wameajiriwa maisha ni ngumu. Hakuna mtu sahi yako sawa. Kila mtu anasema maisha ni ngumu. It is high time you switch and you refuse to hear those reports. They are all over I know, but you can switch. They are all over I know, but you can you can pretend as if you are not hearing them. Ukizisikilia hapa zinatokea hapa. In Mark chapter 10 and verse 46, this is a story we know of blind Bartimaeus. How many people knows know about blind Bartimaeus? Blind Bartimaeus, he heard that Jesus Christ is passing by. And when he heard, he got out. Aka mix na kirede huko. Aka kutana na congregation na cloud. And the Bible say that when he detected that Jesus is closer, he started shouting. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And then the Bible say what? People were shutting him up. Walikuwa na mwambia wacha kupiga kerele wewe. Wacha kupigia yesu kerele. Wewe unasumbua. Get out of here. Is it true? Waka mwambia nyamaza. The Bible say, the more they shut him, the more he shouted. Si tuzome hapo diyo tuone ukweli. Si tunaiza soma. Eh? Tunaiza soma Mark. Mark 10. Mark 10. Let's see verse, I think from verse 46. Today I came to encourage someone. Tell your neighbor, are you encouraged? Eh? Muulize neighbor, nasikia aje? Muulize, unasikia kama utasonga mbele mwona give up. Hakuna mtu wako kwa hii bada you are supposed to give up. No matter what you are going through. No matter what you are going through. And you shall not die in that season. I pray that your season will pass by quickly. I pray that God will speed up that situation that you are having. That season you are into. And God will give you grace to maneuver. God will give you grace to come out of it. Let's see verse 46. Now they came to Jericho. As he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude, blind but um, Timaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the road begging. Imagine Ata alikuwa mepewa jina blind but Myers. Yes, siju umesevua nani kwa simu. Umesevua aje na watu kwa simu. Sumbua. Jue, wakikuona ni pesa tu unaitisha. Do you know there are people that you are calling right now, they cannot pick your calls. Jua najua ni sotana unaitisha. Ni ugwele ya mazuku eri? That season is coming to the, to, the, to the end. I say it is coming to the end. Wea, atu watu wanaona simu yako, mutu wanajifanya, I was driving. Mutu wanajifanya haku, atilikuwa silent. Mukikutana, nakombia, guy, uli nipigia. Ha? 
siku gani? Mbona sikuona? May God connect you with people of influence. May God connect you with people that will add value. People that will help you. People that you, I pray may you attract people that are not suffering what you are suffering. In Jesus name je kere mkono jiombe. Amba nawaambie baba, my father my God, connect me with people that are ahead of me. People that can give me, people that can bless me in Jesus name. It's so bad to be connected only to people at you, at yule mtu mzuri msonko sana. Msonko sana ni level yako. Ukita acha kwa level yako. Huu ukitafuta fair na yeye anatafuta fair. Wewe ukitafuta food na yeye anatafuta fair. It is dangerous. We could connect you with people. I have to teach you the four people four people that you need to push. They are called influence people, influencers. People that influence your life. They come into your life and your life start taking shape, eh? Yani your life start aligning. You know there are people that come into your life, they enter like this chair lady. Your life start aligning. Bila chochote, maisha yako inaanza kusonga. Maisha yako unajipata tu kuna kuna places huku unaenda umeanza kwenda. Kuna watu huku una meet umeanza kuwa meet. Kuna namba za simu huku wanazo umeanza kuzipata. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Shida yetu ni kuvunjika moyo. Shida yetu ni kuvunjika moyo. Tunavunjikaga moyo sana. Tunavunjika moyo na tuna tunaweka kila kitu kando na tunaanza kulia. Geukia jirani yako mwambie hakuna kuvunjika moyo. No retreat no surrender. As long as you you, you came into 2022 na ukavuka na ukaingia, you are here to stay. And it has to comply. And it is you 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 you, you will make it to comply. No matter how hard it is. In Jesus mighty name. Ukiaje ni mwambie huwezi ukakomoa hii ukuta na siku moja. Huwezi ukaangusha hii mawe hii na siku moja. Huwezi hii ndio ibomoke kama hauna ile kitu inapomwanga ile inaitangwa nini? Breakdown eh? Kama ni wewe unagonga hapa, una breakdown. You have to do a lot of work. And you have to take inaitangwa kefo inatarimbo. Na uwekere pale na ugonge. Na wezi gonga once, hiyo jiwe inaanguka. Unagonga hiyo nyingine inaanguka. My friend, you got to be persistent. Na wezi gonga hapo, uruke ugonge hapo, uruke ugonge hapo. Hiyo ukuta haita waibomoka. Ni unagonga mahali pamoja mpaka unatoboa. Ndio pana kuwa week, pana weekend the other side. Una keep on doing it. Do it and do it and do it until you irritate the devil. Sometimes you need to pray until the devil leaves you alone. Aseme oyo angekuwa goro huyu avuchikagi moyo anakuja na kuvunja na wewe unaamuka tena shetani anafikiri alikugonga knockout anaona umeamuka tena paka na give up one day there was a king who never feared god and he never loved people but there was one woman who needed justice she kept on going every day she was going every day she was going until the king say if i don't give this woman justice she will irritate me even the more she cannot give up and he decided to give justice to the woman so the kingdom of god suffered violence and the violence shall take it by force tell your neighbor neighbor we in a season whereby you don't get what you want you get what you have fought for you get what you demand not what you want my father my god i want a job bless me you said you will bless the work of the hands my father my god release my job whatever my job is no this is the season you command the season of you prophesy you declare my job i know you are here i am coming for you as i come to bring my cvs hear the word of the lord you ceo you manager you supervisor whoever i am meeting i decree and declare as i come your heart will be aligned by the word of god you shall release what is mine as i enter in that office you enter with power and battle wakati mwingine mpoko unaingia huko umeji anoint wakati mwingine unaingia huko kwa geti unatoa viatu na kanyaga unasema you said wherever we shall step we shall possess i possess my job i am getting here with a job i refuse to go out empty handed shida yetu ni kukuwa wapole na kutaka vitu za haraka na kuvunjika moyo haraka na kukataa kuwa persistent. Mimi nimeomba sana pasi. Prof nimeomba sana. Mimi usinione hivyo. Nili fast 40 days tulipoanzia mwaka. Mwingine alikuja kuniona hivyo kwa ofisi. Nikamwambia prayer hazazishage. Akaniambia sasa kuzirisha. Hakuna kitu kingine mimi naweza omba. Na nimekuja uniombe. Nikamwambia sasa kama huwezi omba mimi nitakuombea nini? Wewe huwezi omba zako zimeisha. Mimi nataka nikuombee nini? 
Mimi nitatoa wapi hizo maombi unataka nikuombe? Yaani huyu mtu amechoka. Watu wengine hapa simko hivyo. Saa 9 alamu inalia unasema nimeomba miezi tisa nini imenifanyikia alamu nyamaza na unajifunika unaona lala tell your neighbor neighbor labda hiyo maombi moja tu hiyo ndio ilikuwa inahitajika uvuke ngambo ingine na ulikataa kuamka i came to encourage us let us be persistent let us be intentional let us be committed blind but myers could not have seen if he gave up the more they shouted the more he shouted they shut him up and he shouted he got the attention of jesus i pray that today your prayers will get the attention of heaven you will get the attention of heaven you will get the attention of jesus may you get the attention of god may your angels wherever they are whoever are sent by your answers get your attention and they go and tell the father this woman have cried so much for her marriage father answer her you go to shake the heavens you go to shake the devil you go to do something that you shout i am not giving up in jesus name This man the bible said that Jesus said bring him to me when he came Jesus asked what do you want I want to see I want to see and then he told him your faith have healed you and he started seeing he took off the the the, the, the coat he was wearing eh walikuwa wanavaa kitu kama uniform ya ku identify who ni kipofu akatoa hiyo akaiangusha chini na akaona tena akakimbia kaenda kuambia watu nimeona nimeona ninaona ninaweza ona lakini ndio aone kuna pato alipigana ndio uone kuna vita utapigana kuna pato kuna kuna up and downs utapigana kuna storms za maisha utapigana kuna milima utapigana and when you become persistent that mulima it shall be leveled when you become persistent the storm will shut down when you become persistent whatever is a wall whatever is protecting and preventing you i assure you it will come down it will level in jesus mighty name i came to decree and declare none of you will go down in the mighty name of jesus the level that you are today it is the lowest you will ever be in the mighty name of jesus may the lord open your doors may heavens open for you may the face of god shine upon you may the grace of god be sufficient may the glory of god be evident may the power of god touch you may the blessings of god reign in your life in the mighty name of jesus i came to speak to a person that is not giving up a person that is saying i am not giving up i know this is what is happening but i live by faith i do not live by sight i know this is what is happening but i live by faith i do i do not live by sight i know this is a fact but i live by faith i will not go down in jesus mighty name Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Are you getting what I'm saying? As your neighbor, neighbor, are you getting what prophetess is saying? I know each and every person here you came and there is something that you need God to do for you. I came to tell you God will do it. But one thing I beg you of, don't give up. You cannot afford to give up. I pray for you that you wake up intentionally to make it in life. Wake up intentionally to make it in life in Jesus mighty name can you shout a better amen Eh yeah. hey, wakati watu wanalia hakuna biashara amuka amuka saa tisa. shida yako ni kulala ulishavunjika moja jana juhu kuuza hasa leo paka umemeza headache na panadol na piriton ndio urale hata 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 uwezi amuka kuomba amuka saa tisa. ongelesha aldi ongelesha environment ongelesha pesa these are mysteries eh? and they are prophetic ongelesha client wako yeyote ambaye alipenda hiyo nguo yeyote amekuja akauliza bei hakuwezi kosa mtu mmoja atainunua mwenye hii nguo kama ni pesa hana fungulisha pesa zake fungulisha pesa zake katika jina la Yesu shida yako ni kulala na kuvunjika moyo amuka asubuhi command the environment to comply with you command the weather to comply with you command the water to comply with you command the sun to comply with you command everything to comply with you command the environment mpaka unaiambia you environment hear the word of the lord i am a god i am created by the image of god i am a god therefore i command the environment of today you shall give me peace you shall release what is mine you will release my money you will release my clients in the name of jesus Tell your neighbor you cannot afford to give up. Una
Bibi 